Hey everyone, how's it going? And as you can see, I have just got some new prints for the wall. Uh, that's what that little B-roll segment was at the start. I took these about a year ago actually, but I decided that I wanted to get a set of three photos printed for the wall. So these work quite nicely as a set. Totally unrelated note, but uh, I have now got a lens cap again. I've had it lost for about six months and I can say I'm very glad to have a lens cap back from my 35. Anyways, on with the video. Today's video, as I'm sure you can see by the title, is about colour grading. Specifically, I'm going to go over how I colour graded The Fly, my recent short film, if you haven't seen it. Here's a little clip. You should definitely go watch the rest of it if you haven't already, but I'm going to dive straight into Premiere and show you how I colour graded this with Lumetri and Colorista. Okay, so now we're inside Premiere and this is the project for the fly. So I think the, the colour grade stays reasonably consistent throughout. Um, I chose to have something a little bit teal and orange because I like the look, but uh, slightly on the warmer side for the most part. So here, I'm going to go break down this shot, so if I do a global effects mute, uh, this is what this button here does, you can add it to your panel with this, and basically it turns off any effects applied to anything inside the project all at once. So you can use it if your premiere is running slow and you just want to click through the timeline. So, if I press that here, you can see this is what it looked like straight out of camera, I shot it on the Canon EOS 700D um, with the Sigma 18-35 to art series f1.8, it's an amazing lens. Uh, and I shot using the Cine style profile, which uh, you can in download and install. It's free to use, uh, and basically it's a flat profile for your DSLR, so it removes some of the contrast. It almost like log, but not quite that thing. It can fall apart at times because the camera's got a really low bit rate. But I colour graded it, and I think I used a bit of a denoise, and I'm not 100%. So let's go in and take a look. So I colour graded it mostly using uh, adjustment layers. Um, but no. So in the adjustment layer, if I go in. switch to colour. What we will see is we've got a Lumetri colour applied and inside the Lumetri colour I used uh, one of the film right looks I used the bad times at the El Royale. So if I turn this on and off you'll see, oh wait, better show that. If I turn this on and off you'll see that this provides the majority of the actual colour because um, Try and Films, film right have put a, mate, like, a load of work into this and their, their looks are incredible and I wanted this kind of what warmer feel um, so as you can see outside the greens go a bit more orange and the skin tones go a bit more orange it adds some more contrast and a bit of like purpley tones to the shadows a bit magenta which is what I was going for uh, up the saturation a little bit um, and I've bought the shadows you can see here a little bit more blue and the highlights a little bit more orange and inside curves I've pretty much left this alone because in the look it did most of the work uh, on some of the clips I use uh, the curve and the hue versus saturation to actually do some correction because of uh, the colours in, but this, because I was happy with how it was shot, I've left it and I've just used a lot, I've turned up the, turned up the intensity a little bit, which is not something I usually do, um, and I've actually, for this one, literally used a lot like a one click tool. Um, if I go inside the clip itself, again, it's normal, but what if we go across to one of the clips where we've done more than that? So for the second part of the film, uh, I degraded it in two parts, as you can see here, there are two adjustment layers. So the first one, so this is what it looks like without any grade at all. The first one brings a lot more contrast and saturation back, it brings, it's a look, I think I use the, yeah, it's, it takes a technical Asina style to Rec 709, so that gives it much more contrast and saturation. And then inside the actual grade itself, I use the Blade Runner look for um, inside the garage to give it kind of a cooler feel. Um, it's still very teal and orange, I've had to turn the intensity down a lot on this one because it's really intense. Uh, but that is how I've done this, so if you look, there is a s no basic correction, no look. I mean, depends on depending on how it is, sometimes you'll I will correct it using a look, but 
for the most part, I was actually pretty happy with how Blade One looked. Certain shots, I've actually gone in first. So the first thing like I, I did was I made sure that all the shots matched reasonably well. So like inside some of the shots, you'll see that I've actually done some basic correction. Like on this one, I bought up the shadows, and if I'm pretty sure if I go over here, yeah, the exposures brought up on some of these shots. Um, but for the most part. I'm relying on, because I'm not a colorist myself, I'm relying on other people's work. I'm making sure, I, use, I like to use the scopes over here to get my exposure right. Uh, you see the, the black line at the bottom of the black bars, but then this shows you the exposure of the thing. So, yeah, that's basically how I color corrected and color graded my film, The Flight. If anyone's got any questions, uh, leave them down below. But, yeah, that's pretty much how I do most of my color grading. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday at 8. Bye, guys.